black parents who are college graduates, especially first-generation college graduates, want our children to have more than we did, and their education is central to that. Many of us believe it is our duty to consider how we achieved our educational success and then take it a step farther with our children. This often means sending our children to private schools or moving to a more affluent suburb in search of better educational options. The goal of these choices is often to expose our children to a more rigorous academic curriculum on their educational trajectory to a good college and beyond. Along the way, though, we may compromise culture and community. Is this right? Is this good? How does this affect our children, not just emotionally, but in their chances for college admissions success? And are there other potential consequences to these decisions? This chapter explores how parents' choices at early stages of their child's education affect their college counseling and ultimately their college choices. Parents ask questions about where and how to educate their children before their children are born. Parents elated to be pregnant start planning everything from their child's baby shower to their wedding. Every parent declares they want what's best for their child and will offer them all the things they themselves did not have and more. Parents often try to replicate all the advantages of their own upbringing, if they have them, that help them find success. We all do it. It's just the nature of being a parent. There's no one definitive guide to parenting. And each child is different and will experience the world in different ways. We parents are a collection of our personal experiences. And we use those experiences, both good and bad, to help chart a path for our children to succeed in life. A day does not go by when we as parents don't have to make a decision about our children. But the decision-making about our children's education and college preparation should start earlier rather than later. These decisions often aren't made overnight and require hard conversations, resources, and in most instances with black families, some sense of compromise. Black parents want for their children what everyone else wants, to be better and to have more. 